For years, a married couple has worked to save injured birds. They got their latest patient, a Canada goose, about a week ago. Their skills saved the goose, but as Angela Ingram shows us, people with skills like this are a dying breed. Oh, is that a string I see? What is that around your ankle? Is that hurting? When Janet Fitch and neighbors along Hardwick Lane spotted this goose, they could tell it was struggling. I know the perfect person I can show this video to and they'll know just what to do. The bird had a swollen foot with a fishing hook stuck in it and fishing line wrapped around it. It was a team effort to get the goose to trust them. Finally found a plastic bin and we brought it outside and he just picked her up the way Ginger taught us to gently take the neck and kind of get over her. And Ginger is Ginger Rude, 81 years old and a lifelong protector of wildlife. She and her husband Ken started Wild Birds in Northern Kentucky. We want to release her now. Or Wink. I guess right back here. In 1988. Right now we have some wintering over with broken wings. We have about seven of them. We'll spend the winter. Ginger took the bird from Janet, got it medical help, and nursed it back to health. They nicknamed it Gimpy. And on Wednesday afternoon, they all got to see an animal that couldn't help itself go back into nature. If somebody else joined her out there, well, good, she's got a buddy. The roods are hoping people are more careful about their fishing lines. Who knows if she's going to get another hook in her? People don't clean up after themselves. They should, but they don't. And Ginger is hoping to pass her wisdom and skill of rehabbing birds to someone else. We do need people to come out and agree to get a permit and learn how to do it. Because I'm 81 <laughs> and getting older every day. And I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to stay with it. And the Roods live in Union, Kentucky. They operate out of their home and they're hoping that someone might donate a building or a couple of acres and then that way they can teach their skills to the next generation. And the goose seem happy? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was a friendly goose as far as geese go. Yeah. And, and you know, it, it's just one of those things where you see an injured animal and you think, oh, maybe I should help. And in yeah. this case, they actually did. Yeah, so, so many people out. don't know what to do, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Nice people. Good story. Yeah. Thanks. Thank